Hey guys, another quick video. Today I got a quick overview of the motherboard that I will be putting into my PC. So this is the Super Micro C7 P67, so based on the uh, P67 uh, Intel chipset for Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge processors. It's getting a little old now, but um, you know it's still a pretty viable platform. I'm running a Xeon E3 uh, 1230 version 2 in here, so I did need to upgrade the BIOS to uh, get this processor to work. So I had to buy like a cheap uh, eBay processor to get it upgraded, and, and it was quite the uh, process to get uh, the BIOS upgraded to the latest version because you needed to upgrade to like version 1.1 before you could upgrade to like uh, version 2.0 or whatever the latest is. And I actually had to contact uh, Super Micro support. Uh, to get that, but anyways, this is you know kind of a desktop board. Uh, I currently have a different uh, P67 socket 1155 in my desktop, but that one um, it's it's pretty old. I've had that one since college, and two of the RAM slots are bad. So just figured um, you know put this in my desktop. I was actually originally planning on using this in my server. Um, it is a pretty nice board for the features it has. It has a um, dual. Um, gigabit LAN, uh, plenty of USB ports, uh, PS2, uh, onboard audio, uh, dual PCI, 16 slots, couple old old PCI, and uh, a bunch of 1X slots. And I actually did mod um, one of the sockets, or excuse me, the PCI 1 uh, slots to actually accept longer cards uh, when I was using it in my home server, um, just so I could put a video card in there. Uh, didn't really care about the get, making sure it was a full speed. I was just using like a Radeon uh, 50, 55, 40 or something like that. Um, one nice thing about this board, which I don't see in a lot of, uh, motherboards from the gener uh, from that generation is it does have the eight, um, SATA ports, uh, two and actually two, um, three point out slots. A lot of them just have two, two point out slots. So that'll be nice. Um, we'll definitely have lots of, uh, hard drives and, uh, SATA drives. Um, and, and I will be using 32 gig gigabytes of RAM. Um, right now I just have 16 because uh, the other 16 I'm just using to test out my home server build. So pretty nice motherboard. Not a lot of information about it on um, the internet. But as long as you do upgrade to the latest BIOS, you can uh, put in the uh, the Ivy Bridge CPUs. So, uh, you know, you throw in like a, like a Xeon 1270 or like a 3770K or S. Um, you know, it still, still holds up today. I mean, it's not going to be as fast as some of the newest... Uh, AMD uh, chips or Intel, but for the price, uh, it's a great deal. You know, these Xeon, like 1230, 1240, they go for really cheap, and um, they still offer uh, lots of performance, and they're hyper-threading. So, um, you know, just thought I'd do a quick overview, and if you need the BIOS uh, version 1.1, I made sure to save off, like, five copies of it, email myself, upload to Google Drive, and um, just so I had it, because it was a uh, little bit of a hassle to get it. I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet, but uh, fortunately Supermicro was able to give it to me so I could get to the latest BIOS. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.